So this is lesson 17, problem set, and your homework is numbers 1, 3, 5, and 7. Only four problems here. Okay. Number 1 says, the following circles are not drawn to scale. Find the area of each circle. Use 22 over 7 as an approximation for pi. Okay. Now, one thing I want to review real quick is we've learned three formulas now. Okay. We have two formulas for circumference and one for area. Okay? For circumference, the circumference is the measure around a circle. Okay? You multiply pi times the diameter. If they don't give you the diameter but give you the radius, your formula is circumference equals 2 times pi times the radius. Okay? Area, there's only one formula you need to know. Area of a circle equals pi times r squared. We're squaring the r, r times r. Okay? So this is the, the formula that we're going to need to use for these, this first problem. Okay? So that, first of all, this one. We need to figure out what the radius is for each of these because our area uh, formula has an r in it. So we need to figure out the radius. The diameter of this circle is 21. The radius would be half of it. Half of 21 is 10.5. If you didn't know that, you could grab your calculator real quick and do 21 divided by 2, you'd get 10.5. Okay? The second circle, okay, so this is equals r. Second circle has a diameter of 81. Half of 81 is 40.5. Once again, you could use the calculator if you need to. In the last circle, you'll notice they didn't give us a diameter. They gave us a radius, so we're just going to keep that like it is. Okay? So now we've figured out what the radius is for all three. Let's do this one first. We have our formula. Area equals pi times r squared. Substitute in. Okay, we're going to use 22 over 7. The direction cells to use 22 over 7 as our pi. So 22 over 7. Okay. We're going to multiply that by 10.5 squared. And we can do this right in the calculator. So when we do this right in the calculator. We type, and I like to use parentheses around my fractions. So 22 over 7, and that's getting multiplied by 10.5 squared. Hit our equal button. 346.5. 346.5. What is our label? Centimeters. Regular centimeters? No, we're finding area, so it's centimeters squared. Second circle, okay, once again we have a equals pi times r squared, a equals, we're going to use 22 over 7 as our pi approxima approximation, okay, we're multiplying that by our radius, not 81, but 40.5 squared, 40.5 squared, a equals, do that right in the calculator. Parentheses 22 over 7, close parentheses, multiplied by 40.5 square equals, we get a big long one, okay? We're going to round to the nearest foot. So if we want to round this to the nearest foot, we get 5,155.0. The zero tells us to keep it 55, not to round up. So our answer ends up being... Oops, not 55. 51. 55. And our label is feet. Regular feet? Nope. Feet squared. Third triangle. Or two. If that's a triangle, I have lost it. It is a circle. Sorry. Our area formula is A equals. Once again, what is it? I hope you said pi r squared. 
a equals, we're going to use 22 over 7 as our pi, multiplying that by 45 over 2, and this whole fraction is getting squared. Okay, calculator time. Open parentheses, 22 over 7, close the parentheses, multiplying that by... Forty. Oh, I'm going to. Oh, I got to try this. I want to make sure that it's not doing the multiplication first and then the exponents. So I think if I do 45 over 2, close it, and then do the exponent, it'll come out correct. Yes, it did. Okay. So you see how you can do that. I'll go back up here. So 22 over 7. That goes in parentheses. And then I multiply by open the parentheses, 45 over 2, I close the parentheses, then hit my squared button. And then when I hit equals, nope. I get 1,591. We're around it to the nearest tenth. The 7 tells us to round up. Point one. Our label is centimeters squared. There's number one. Number three says, so I can keep, uh, you can see number one still while you read number three. Number three says, a circle has a diameter of 11 inches. So I'm picturing a circle, and I'm picturing my diameter be 11 inches. Find the exact area and an approximate area using 3.14. Find, B says, find what is the circumference of the circle using pi is approximately 3.14. So it tells us that it wants us to use 3.14 for pi in our formulas, okay? So the first one we're gonna find out is area. So we need to use our area formula, okay? That is A equals pi times r squared, a equals, we're going to use 3.14, we're going to multiply that by, oh, we need to find our radius, it says that our diameter is 11 inches, we need to find our radius is half of that, I'm going to divide by 2, oh, 5.5, our radius is 5.5, so 5.5 squared, a equals, and actually, this is going to be squiggly line, squiggly line, because it's going to be about, because we're using 3.14, which is an approximate. So 3.14 times 5.5 squared gives us our answer of 94.985. Our label is inches squared, since we're doing area. Now we need to find the circumference, okay? Now we need to find the circumference. Our circumference formula is, okay, we know that the radius is 5.5 and the diameter is 11, so we can really use either of these as long as we use the diameter of 11 inches or the radius of 5.5. It'll be easier if you have the diameter to use this first formula. So our formula is C equals pi D. Substitute in, we're using 3.14 for pi because it tells us 2 in the problem. We're going to multiply that by our diameter of 11 inches. C is approximately 3.14. I'm just going to type in exactly what my problem is. 3.14 times 11 gives us 34 and 54 hundredths, and our label is inches. It's not inches squared because inches squared is only for area. This is just circumference. That's just inches. Okay, that's number three. Number five. Number five says, move this down a little bit. A path bounds a circular lawn at a park. 
If the path is 132 feet around, what is the approximate or approximate the amount of area of the lawn inside the circular path? Use pi is approximately 22 over 7. It tells us what to use again. Okay? So for number 5, we need to realize that, okay, so we have a path that's a circle, and they're telling us that if we start here and run around the path and end here, we're going to have run 132 feet. They're telling us 132 feet is the circumference. Okay, so they tell us what the circumference is. We need to figure out what the area is But first, we need to find the radius. We'll need to find out what R is first in order to figure out. Because we can't figure out what area is if we don't know the area and we don't know the radius. So we're going to use two formulas here. First, we're going to figure out, we're going to use this formula to figure out what our R is because we know this information, know this information, know this information. We're going to solve for R. Then once we have R, we're going to use this formula to find the area because we'll have this and then we'll have the R because we'll have solved it in the first part. So we need two formulas here for number five. Okay, Formula number one, circumference equals two pi R. That's number five here. C equals 2 pi times R. We know that C equals 132. 2 pi R. Okay. The next step that we need to do there is, oh, we need to substitute in pi, actually. So we need to, this is why you always use pencil, so you can erase mistakes. 2 and we're going to multiply that by 22 over 7, because that's what it tells us to do in the problem. Okay? And you're going to multiply that by R. We don't know what that is. So we need to do this multiplication here, 2 times 22 over 7. We can grab our calculator, 2 times 22 over 7. We end up with 6 and 2 sevenths. If I can remember how to do... I think if we do second button here, it'll give us an improper fraction here, 44 over 7. So 132 equals 44 over 7 R. Algebra, next step, in order to isolate the R, we need to do the opposite. Multiplication is here, so we need to divide each side by 44 over 7. We Another way to do this is to simply multiply by the reciprocal 7 over 44. Whatever we do to this side, we must do to this side. 7 over 44 times 132. Okay. These cancel. We end up with, when we do 7, and I'm going to put this in parentheses, parentheses, 7 ABC 44, nope, times 132. Okay, see what I have there is simply 7 over 44, and I'm multiplying that by 132. We get that equals to 21. So we now know that our radius, okay, our radius is 21 feet. So now that we know that, we can, okay, do our second formula. Our second formula is going to be A equals pi r squared. A equals pi r squared. We want to find A. We know that 22 over 7 is pi. Okay, so we have 22 over 7 for pi. And we multiply that by, we know what r is because we just found it, 21 squared. So we use that the calculator to do that exact right now. Okay, so I got 22, oh, I'm going to put it in parentheses, 22 over 7, and that's getting multiplied by 21 
squared gives us my answer of area is 1,386. And when I gotta look at my, we're looking for what, what label is it? You gotta look back in the problem. If the path is 132 feet, there's our label. Area means feet squared. So we found our, found the area. Number five, done. Okay. Only one more question. Number seven. Okay. Number seven, we need to, ooh, this is a little tricky here. It's a little review from the beginning of the year. See how New York State does that? No, you love it. All right, find the ratio. Ooh, ratio, what does that mean? Ratio, ratio. Oh, a fraction. That's a fraction. Like Mrs. Jordan says, fractions are our friends. So we need to find a ratio of the area of the two circles with radii. That means a plural, two radiuses. I, radiuses isn't a real word, it's radii. So a radius of three centimeters and a circle that has a radius of four centimeters. We need to find those two areas. So two areas. I'm gonna draw a line there so I don't get my problems mixed up. Okay. Uh, find those two areas and express them as a ratio. This is really quick, this is what we've been doing. Okay. So we know we need area. We use our formula, A equals pi r squared. So we got A equals pi r squared, A equals pi. And it doesn't tell us what pi we, we can use, so I'm going to use the calculator pi. And our radius, first one is 3 squared. I'll use my calculator. Pi times 3 squared. Okay. That's not right. Hmm. I wonder why it came out like that. I wonder if I do 3 squared, find out what that is. It equals 9. So 9 times pi equals... This isn't right. Why not? Oh, I see, I see what the, all right. This is just getting a little confusing, but they don't want us to figure it out that far. They just want us to say that area is nine pi. They just want to leave it as nine pi. I was typing into my calculator, nine pi, and getting the actual answer. They don't want you. They want you to keep it as nine pi. Okay, so now we need to do the same thing for the other circle. A equals pi r squared. A equals pi times, or our second radius is 4 squared. So it just wants us to do that 4 squared. 4 squared on the calculator is 4 times 4, 16. So 16 pi. Okay? So those are our two areas. Okay? And actually these should be labeled cm squared, cm squared, because they're areas. Okay? So the ratio... It's just the first circle to the second one. It's a fraction. 9 pi over 16 pi. Or you could just say 9 over 16. That's all you got to do for number 7.